my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber number BB5010 456 N 600 ball bearing five knuckle full mortise wide throw steel base hinge four and a half by six non removable pin in a prime coat finish. This is a Wide throw hinge, as you can see, it's wider than it is tall. So let's dissect. Let's start by dissecting the part number. First of all, BB stands for ball bearing. With a standard weight hinge like this, this hinge would be 134 thousandths of an inch leaf thickness. It would have two bearing packets, okay, being a five knuckle hinge versus a three knuckle that you can get as well. The 5010 means a couple of things. First of all, it means that it is a full mortise hinge. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaves there that when the leaves are brought parallel, they're intended to be mortised flush to the edge of the door and the frame. The 10 stands for the fact that it's wide throw uh, and the fact that it is a steel base hinge. Okay. The 456 is of course the size. It's four and a half tall and six inch wide. And that's when the hinge is measured laying open, laid open. Height is the first dimension on, on hinges like this, so it's properly called four and a half by six, not a six inch hinge. N means that it is a non-removable pin. There's a set screw that is drilled and tapped into that knuckle. And in this pin, there is a groove cut in the pin. And when that set screw is tightened, it fits into that groove, all but preventing that pin from being driven out. Very effective uh, method of uh, keeping the pin in place, which, if you had an exterior door that swung out, you would definitely want to prevent that, tin, that pin from being removed. It would be very common. The 600 is a reference to prime coat. That is just a finish that is prepped for painting. Okay. There is a link below this video to what is called the cut sheet, and that is a, it's a dimensional drawing, really, indicating um, everything important about the location of the screw holes in relationship to the hinge. Uh, this is called template pattern, which is typical and common for steel doors and frames, wood doors, very common. That link to the cut sheet also indicates different part numbers based on um, the material the hinge is made of, steel, brass or bronze, and then stainless steel. Di different sizes that are alluded to there. You can see how those hinges change as well. You've got your BB, which is ball bearing. You've got your LB, which is lube bearing, which is a maintenance free style um, concealed bearing uh, construction from Bomber. Now, regarding the hinge, there are lots of options that you can get with this. And by the way, screws are included <coughs> in a complementary finish. All wood screws, all metal screws. Number 12 by inch and a half or so wood screws with 1224 machine screws. Um, Lots of options with hinges like this that can be special ordered. Radius corners like quarter or five eighths, which would be very unusual, but nonetheless, we do sell them. Um, you can get thicker gauge. You can get those different base materials. This is steel, brass or bronze, depending on the finish, and of course, stainless steel. Tips, this is what's called a button tip. You can get those also in decorative tips like ball tip, which would be very common. Steeple tip, urn tip, acorn tip can all be made. There's a variety of different applications in terms of security pin. You can get security stud, for instance, which is another method which features a large bolt that would project into the other leaf, preventing that door from being removed even if you got the pin out. Um, and obviously finishes. You know, all the architectural finishes can be made. Uh, and these are typically made to order, although sometimes we keep, we do typically keep uh, some material on hand. Now, wide throw hinges, they're, they're used exclusively, well, in two instances. Number one, in the less common way, is that you might have a frame where the door is set deeper into the frame than standard. There's typically about an eighth of an inch reveal between the face of the frame and the face of the door. If you ran your hand over the door and frame, you'd find that the door is further in normally. If you had a door that was a few inches deeper in, you would need a wide throw hinge just to make the unit work to begin with. Um, homes that I've been in 
that were turn of the century, last turn of the century, in Florida, I've seen them. Three-story homes, those wall thicknesses on the first floor, they're extremely thick. And they've got those doors set in, sometimes to the center of the opening. You know, you could have an 18-inch wall, and they've got these great, giant, big, wide-throw hinges. You can see in your head how you would need a wide-throw hinge, because you've got to get the axis of pivoting kicked way out, outside of the frame. Uh, that would be the uh, uh, typical use for them. Also, the old Capitol building in Iowa City, Iowa, is full of, you know, what I would say would be priceless pieces of history because of, you know, the difficulty in reproducing them even today, although they can be reproduced. And speaking of that, we can make any size hinge you want, any, literally any size, but the hinges typically are orders of magnitude more expensive, uh, you know, exponentially more expensive now um, or can be um, the other use is where you basically have a standard door and frame but now you've added unusually thick casing or brick mold or shutters to the pull side of the door and you just need to get the axis of pivoting out further so that it will get around that tree. so you'll very likely get yourself into a situation where you need just a wide throw hinge to get around a treatment I've also seen uh, not necessarily wide throw hinges, but parliament hinges, which are in essence wide throw hinges used on windows uh, that are installed. The lighthouse, uh, uh, the lighthouse uh, installation at uh, Ponce de Leon Lighthouse in Florida is full of parliament hinges, uh, which are again in, in effect wide throw because you've got windows to the outside of this building, this historic building, but you've got shutters. Obviously, you're on the coast of Florida, there will be shutters working shutters but to get the windows open in the summer or any of time it's always summer there right you need to have a wide throw application where the axis of pivoting is further out now um, if you are thinking wide throw hinges you might need to think extended lip strike plates as well so keep that in mind where the lip of the strike is physically longer to prevent the latch from striking woodwork or the frame prematurely uh, the last thing I'd like to say uh, regarding this would be to point out the bomber logo which says right above it it says made in USA a fact that bomber is quite proud of as am I to be a distributor of theirs if you have any questions on the bomber BB 5010-456N-600 wide throw hinge or any other bomber product please feel free to reach out to us thank you very much